Man, why is this game so hard? I don't even like this game. Oh, who's that? Kanye? What's this dude want? Oh, snap. I totally forgot. Supposed to be with him and Demna later today. Business things. Why is this man always bothering me? Kanye always bothering me about Kim. Anyways. What should I wear? What shoes should I wear? You know, footwear is key. I can wear some sneakers, some boots, some loafers. You know what? I'm going to go with the Birkenstocks. I've been loving these lately. Comfortable, easy to put on, stylish. Yeah. I mean, this is easy as that. Just put your foot in the shoe. Shh. Gotta go meet this man, Kanye. Clogs, mules, and slip-ons. Laceless shoes have had quite the rise in popularity over the last four years. But why have these versions of footwear caught on in the modern style zeitgeist of footwear? If you don't know me, my name is Drew What It Do, and if you watched that skit in its entirety at the intro of this video and aren't subscribed to the channel, man, I, I lost faith in humanity if you aren't subscribed after watching that what more do you what more do i have to do tell me what is it <laughs> all right enough jokes enough games let's dive in i think that this particular style of footwear has grown in popularity over the years because of three main reasons that first reason is comfort we all love comfort you love comfort i love comfort your dog loves comfort and when it comes to buying footwear we all want something that aligns with our comfort threshold enter something like the birkenstock boston which is incredibly comfortable and unlike other items of footwear on the market with burks in particular you can wear them all day and not feel any intense foot fatigue or pain. And this is the same for a lot of other clogs, mules, and slip-ons that are out there, whether they be Adidas slides, Yeezy foam runners, or other renditions from high-end companies to some of the more mid-tier, low-end companies. It's pretty simple to understand. We all enjoy and appreciate comfortable clothing and especially comfortable footwear because when we're walking around, especially if you're in New York, London, cities that have large metropolises and you walk around most of the time, you wanna be comfortable as you're kind of taking those two mile walks, one mile walks, 10,000 step days. You wanna be comfortable, right? Right? <laughs> now I'm not gonna beat this point over a dead horse or whatever the expression is. I don't know why we're beating horses. I don't know why that's an expression. If you know, you know the expression. Comfort is important, and for a lot of people, it's number one or top five in their decision making when it comes to purchasing new items of clothing or footwear. But comfort isn't enough for why someone would choose a comfortable clog or mule over a comfortable and reliable sneaker. This leads me to my second point, which is ease of use. How easy is it to slip into a pair of Burks? another variant of a pair of mules, or any type of foam structured shoe. As opposed to having to lace up a pair of Nikes, New Balances, boots, or insert any other sneaker slash footwear company that uses laces as the primary wearing method. Primary wearing method. I've never said that before in my life. <laughs> and funny enough, most major footwear companies have implemented this ease of use in their footwear design, whether it be New Balance introducing the new 2002R as a mule instead of a full functioning laced up sneaker, or what Nike does with Nike Offline. You have the newest rendition of what Yeetus, uh, I said, I said Yeetus. Instead of Adidas, I said Yeetus. <laughs> the new rendition of what Adidas is doing with their slides. There's also what Reebok is doing with the Beatnik, which has been around for a while, and the list goes on and on and on. Comfort blended with ease of use is like stepping onto a moving walkway at an airport and letting it just take you for a nice, smooth ride. Comfort, ease of use. Yeah. <laughs> now the holy trinity for this short video essay the thing that brings it all together if you have comfort you have easy use what is that what is that third element what is that holier than thou element that has made mules clogs and slip-ons so popular within the current fashion zeitgeist within the last four years that third aspect is I'm just kidding, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> but I'm gonna use an equation to help me explain what that third aspect is. All right, stay with me here. Comfort plus ease of use times stylistic preference equals the rise of mules, clogs, and slip-ons in the modern era. Ta-da! <laughs> in my opinion, the majority of fashion for the majority of people is relatively simple. Most people wanna look good and feel good. And when I say stylistic preference, all I'm saying is that these new forms of footwear have entered the chat. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what I mean is that these new forms of footwear, mules, clogs, slip-ons, have entered the conversation as great options stylistically. Even more simply put, we accept this form of footwear in 2022 with the Birkenstock Boston, as an example I've been using, to be cool. And when you see Kendall Jenner or Fuego Joel or Ray Mia or whoever you see online wearing a mule, a clog or a slip on in a particularly stylistic way or stylish way, you and by you, I mean the culture starts to bend towards the idea that styling this type of footwear in this particular way can be cool. And eventually more people come to the realization that mules, clogs and slip ons can be styled in a fun and creative way. Now that is my short and kind of sweet broad overview of why I think that these forms of footwear have gained popularity over the years, but this video is far from done. Let's peel back some layers and look at a more nuanced approach to why these items of footwear have grown in popularity. And if you made it this far in the video, you like my banter, you like the style of the videos, subscribe, I'd appreciate it. You know what that subscribe button is, bro, or sis. Starting off, let's talk about everyone's favorite subject over the last two years, the pandemic. The pandemic ultimately changed the way a lot of fashion people interacted with fashion. With nowhere to go and essentially nothing to do for the period that we were in quarantine, a lot of individuals gravitated towards at-home lifestyle shoes like mules, and they just kind of stuck with it as they exited the pandemic or entered back into society is what I want to say. I was reading a kind of new article by Wall Street Journal that featured a couple homies inside of the article and it was written by Jacob Gallagher, I believe. Quote, Burks and Crocs have existed for decades, but the pandemic lifted this relatively niche category into a genuine mule mint. Mule mint, Jacob? Mule mint. <laughs> Let me know what you think about the word mule mint down in the comments. It's kind of an interesting word. Never heard of it. Mule mint. Welcome to the mule mint. <laughs> Either way, some of the collateral from the pandemic as it relates to how it affected the fashion industry is that we are now in a mule mint. And my voice cracked, sorry. All right, the next thing I wanna quickly talk about when it comes to fashion, it typically seems that hype plays a huge element to whether or not particular items or styles grow in prominence over months, years, weeks, etc. You get the point. I think a couple of moments for clogs and mules that really stood out to me or what happened with Salehe, Bimbury and Crocs, that really set it off. Birkenstock and Stussy, that was a big collaboration in my opinion that a lot of people paid attention to. Also Jill Saunders, Stussy, and there's so many other, and there's so many other versions of collaborations and kind of this hype machine building because of collaborations for clogs, mules, and slip-ons. Hype has always played a role in the overall conversation of what's hot and what's not. And I made a video about are you a hype beast because I think for a lot of people, they think about being a hype beast as 2017, 2018 Supreme era where people were wearing a lot of box logos. But in reality, the way I think of it, my opinion is that majority of people who are into fashion and participate in a lot of yearly trends, whether it be mules, whether it be clogs, slip-ons, they are essentially followers of a new iteration of hype. It's much more subtle with clogs, mules, and slip-ons. It's not like Supreme. It's not like you know people are lining up to get the newest pair of Birkenstocks. Some, sometimes they are. Um, or a pair of Crocs, sometimes they are. It's an interesting world we live in, for sure. And I, I think that clogs, mules, and slip-ons are some of my favorite items of footwear that I own. And it, I've been really enjoying this kind of um, stylistic cycle that we're in as it relates to stepping a little bit away from sneakers and moving into more just interesting and different types of footwear. These are my opinions, what are yours? Leave them down in the comment section. I always love looking down and reading some of the things that you guys have to say. Did I miss anything? If I did, point that out to me because I want to improve as a creator. And as always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2022. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day. Abianto. Peace. Post vid vid. I missed you guys, as I always do. Here's a fist bump. Bop. Appreciate you guys so much. Here's another one. Bop. Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. You are the 1%, the pride and the true 
who stay with these videos all the way to the end and I appreciate you. The question for the PVV is about the skit. What would you rate the skit? Movie scale rating, five stars. One star being it was, it was dog crap, five stars meaning, you know, I deserve a Grammy. What would you rate the skit? One to five. I look forward to reading your answers. Hashtag PVV down there and uh, we'll see you guys in the next week's video. In next week's video. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>